Hello, welcome along. Thank you very much for joining us for this new series called Off Topic Mondays. What does that mean? Well, apart from today's episode where there will be some quizzing, uh, going forward, there, it's not about the quizzing. It's more about what I find out while I do my research doing quizzing. I write over sort of nearly 200 and something odd questions a week for my two live quizzes on a Thursday and a Saturday. I write five questions for Zoe Ball's breakfast show, uh, plus some private and corporate quizzes and other things that I do. Plus, I also go to a quiz myself every Tuesday uh, here where I live in Darwin. And it means I come across some very interesting things, uh, some facts, some figures, some things that have been in the news. Um, like today, we're going to be talking about AI. Coming up over the next few weeks, there'll be some other interesting topics, which... They're not meant to be political. They're not my personal opinion. It's about looking beyond what you see in the papers or on social media or online and actually looking at what it would genuinely mean. So a completely impartial decision because that's what I do. I research. I spend all my time researching things. So I'm in a good position to be able to present facts as they are without saying, I think this or I think that or like you see in the media. The idea for this came about a few weeks ago where they were reporting on a certain uh, news story. And if you watched a certain news channel, they were reporting it in one way. If you watched another news channel, they were reporting it in another way. If you saw on a newspaper, they were reporting it one way. And that's what I mean. If you only watch one news channel or one newspaper, that's all you're going to have your formulated opinion. So that's where the idea for this came from. But I thought I'd start the series with a bit of fun. And AI. Now, AI blew up very big at the end of 2022 with chat. Uh, oh, open. Oh, sorry, chat GPT. Um, it blew up because everyone suddenly it suddenly came into everyone's consciousness. You could write things. And that's where the conversation started, where someone said, well, you could take the workload off. You could get the AI to write a quiz. And I thought, hmm, I don't know. I don't think AI is strong enough just yet to write a quiz. So let's have a look. I've got uh, an AI uh, that I'm going to bring up on screen now. And I asked it a few questions and I wanted to see how much AI has come along and could it write a quiz? So I just started off with some basic questions. Um, the first things I asked, you know, so I don't know, write a social media post about, what do we think, fish? Yeah, let just write a social media post about fish. Let's see what it can do. So what's it got? Nothing beats a fresh fish dinner, whether you're grilling, baking or frying. Fish is a delicious and healthy meal option. Hashtag fish dinner, hashtag healthy eating. OK, that's an interesting start. Let's answer the definitive questions. Who is better, Messi or Ronaldo? Hmm, wonder what it's got for that. I wonder if it will come back with like facts and figures and stuff. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Uh, so this is a matter of opinion and can't be definitively answered. Well, there we go. Let's get to the real important question. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? This should answer it. This will put all of those rumours to bed. OK, this is also a matter of opinion and can't be definitively answered. AI is not really helping me here at the moment, is it, with my case? Uh, let's have a look. So what will the weather like be in New York? Let's try something that is actually going to be relevant right now. You know, let's see, has it got that information? There we go. So the weather in New York today is expected partly cloudy with a high of 68 degrees. OK, a bit cold. wonder if it knows who I am. Hmm. Who is Jay Flynn? Let's see. wonder if it knows who I am. OK, I'm an American actor best known for roles in The Hangover Part 3 and The Purge. Jay Flynn, the quiz master. Let's try that. Does it know who I am? Jay Flynn, the quiz master. Let's try that. OK, so British quiz master. Yeah. And television presenter best known for hosting the game show the chase okay um maybe i should not have that bit in and we'll edit that out i don't want to start any of those rumors i'm still trying to put to bed the ones about the mass singer every year and i'm definitely not on that um so yeah well there you go so straight away you can see that it, i mean he, he i mean it started off brilliantly great social media about about fish you know nothing beats a fresh fish dinner so if it's got the facts it can differentiate between something but then ask it a question about an opinion and it can't so messi or ronaldo hey i can't it can't give you that opinion uh the same as the die hard is a christmas movie we all know it's not a christmas movie but it doesn't have enough data to be able to definitively answer that and slightly concerned that it it's obviously linked a lot of data together and decided that i am the host of the chase 
I'm not Bradley Walsh. Um, but the main point of this video and the main point of Off Topic Monday today was can AI write a quiz? Now, you guys have come to know, and if you haven't watched any of my quizzes, they're on all over this channel and they're available every Thursday and Saturday night. And a lot of work goes into them. It's not just a case of turn up on a Thursday with 50 questions and go, there you go, away we go. As much as some of you probably think that. But I do spend a lot of time actually researching and going through and trying to find some good, honest, good, hard questions that will make you think. Can an AI do that? So let's have a look and see if it can. Let's try it with a simple subject, science and nature. Let's see if it can write a 10 question science and nature quiz in my style as well, don't forget, because they've got to be one or two word answers. We can't be doing with questions where you've got to write an essay. That's no fun. Here we go, it's running it. So scientific name for a common house fly. I didn't know that, that's an interesting one. Largest ocean on the earth, okay, fair enough. Uh, name of the process by which plants make their own food. Okay. Uh, name the process by which animals obtain energy from food. That's interesting. Now, I haven't, I've not researched any of this. I don't know um, whether, it, you know, some of these answers may be wrong. I don't know. But fair play to the owl. Give the AI its juice. It has put 10 very good questions there. So can it write a full quiz? So I set it to work. I asked, I said five different rounds and just to clarify, I'm not going to use those rounds in the quiz. Uh, so I, I set it off to work for five different rounds with some entertainment, some general knowledge, which I had to rename general knowledge because he didn't understand that. Uh, science and nature. I also put some food and drink, etc., in there and geography. So coming up and slightly differently, if you do play my quiz on a Thursday and Saturday night, you're going to be expecting me to come along and also give you all of the details and what have you. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them up as slides on the screen. So because this isn't a live video or anything like that, you can pause it, have a bit of fun, look at the questions. They'll each round will be on different on uh, five different slides. So pause the video, have a look, have a go at the questions, take all the time you need, and then I'll come back in a little while and I'll give you the answers. And then I will also show you one final feature with AI that I found very frightening, and I want your opinion on it. So here are the questions.
So there you do have it. So 50 questions and is AI going to replace me anytime soon in writing questions? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, to be fair, you, I mean, if you knew your capital cities, you probably did all right there because you had five capital cities. It asked you for five capital cities spread across uh, across two rounds. It is, don't get me wrong, it, it, it did what I asked it to do. It wrote 50 questions in five different rounds for a quiz. So in that respect, AI has done its job, but maybe the variety isn't there that you'd normally get with me. So... Yes, an AI can write a very, very good quiz, just maybe not quite yet to the standard that we want. But can I, AI replace me completely? So to finish off, there was one last little thing I found. I've been playing around with lots of different AIs over the last few days. You've seen some of the news with things like deep fakes, which I didn't get into because that really completely confused me. But one of the things I did get into was a website. Now, it's not, the video is not sponsored or anything by them. There are very, many others of these that you can use, but I stumbled across this one because I had a free trial. Uh, and it's called, it's here, it's called Resemble AI. Now, what I did yesterday ahead of recording this video is I sat and I recorded 25 different phrases uh i can't find it ah oh, update voice there we go um i recorded 25 different phrases um on here and what it did was it then took those behind the scenes and put it all together so that i could go into wrong screen j project there we go um so i could go into my project uh let's go into this one nope wrong one as you can tell, I've been well versed in using this one. It'll be this one. So I went in and it's created my voice. And this is what it thinks I sound like. This is how I always finish off a Thursday and a Saturday night quiz. I'll let you be the judge of this. As always from me, we will see you soon. Take care and stay safe. Hmm. I'm not convinced, I'll be honest. I'm really not convinced. And if that is how I sound, then I'm slightly worried that that's not the voice that I hear in my head. So to conclude, AI, is it going to be the future? Yes, I think without any shadow of a doubt. Think about all the AI assistants that you've already got in your homes, in your phones. You know, if you've got an iPhone, you've got a Siri. If you've got an Alexa, I can't say it because I've got one at the side of me. They're all AI devices. That's what they've been built on. Can it do the things that us humans can do right now? Probably not, but it's getting there. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, an off-topic Monday, something a bit different. There's going to be lots of different things coming up over the next few weeks. Uh, some topics that might appeal to you, some that might not. Who knows? But I wanted to try and do something a little bit different that wasn't just quizzing. Because next week I am looking into something that has intrigued me. Um, and I don't actually have an opinion on this. I, it sounds very weird, but I, I genuinely don't have an opinion on this. And I want to look, uh, because over the last, uh, sort of back end of 2022, it was quite prominent in the news, which was the Scottish independence. And I wanted to know what would actually happen if Scotland and the United Kingdom broke apart? What, what would happen? And because I'm so well versed in researching things for quizzes, I thought I can actually have a look at this and see what the scenario would be. But then I took it one step further. What would happen if the whole of the United Kingdom broke up? It's quite an interesting prospect. That, though, is for next Monday. Thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, do let me know as well. How did you do with the AI quiz? And I'll be back with my usual quizzes written by me on Thursdays and Saturdays. You can find them here on this channel. And for now, with regards to Off Topic Mondays, I'll be back next Monday, as I said, talking about Scottish independence and the United Kingdom independence. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. As always from me, take care, stay safe.